making my round it's just when i get a chance off the tractor here i'm going through and i'm just quickly boom 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 finding the big ones for carrie to come back around to work with this yard i found five that need space and there's no flag ties in this yard here so she'll be just slapping a box up on top of those guys the reason why I don't have any flag colonies because I've already done it there's two flagged units when I moved the colonies in here these are two boomer hives whether they become so big as a drifting or just because of the brilliance I'll rest on the brilliance so I took two of the uh, flagged hives and put them over top of excluders. I'm just curious. I mean, I just moved them in. When was I getting stuck? Like late last week. So they haven't had a lot of time. I don't like to disturb them too much. I don't have my smoker, so I'll just use my gloves and a little bit of patience. These are nicely moved up. Indeed. So they've taken all that space. So I'm not going to go too thorough. I just want to see if she's been accepted through this merger. Ooh, it sure smells nice. The smell of pollen, the smell of healthy young bees making brood. Even I don't have my smoker, I open these girls up and they're not overly, you know, defensive. Just enough they'll bite my fingers and I don't feel like getting stung. Finally, we have finally, finally have nice weather. Here we go. I'm gonna find the sun. I can't see the eggs in the bottom. Lots of eggs. Just a beautiful job here. So, little patches, the old brood, you can see pretty much the integrity of that nest which is kind of like this right now I'm looking at mature brood and getting younger as it goes out all the way down where's my son all the way down to eggs like that so they are now establishing a proper nest same on this side you can see the old brood hard done by nest they fill this right out with mature larvae and ringing and they actually got some syrup going on in there which is probably from that pail or we might be heading ourselves into a nice little flow which will hit hard because we're gonna have everything bloom at once so we're scrambling to get seconds on all the big ones right now before that flow hits and we're scrambling because we want to get all those uh, nukes transferred over before the flow hits so we're not messing around with honey look at that just beautifully rimmed out with mature larvae she's not wasting any time got my shades on here so I can't see what I'm doing but eggs right stretched out to the bottom so that's as far as I'm gonna go that's a success so she has all the bees she needs. She has all the resources she now needs. And she is now able to fulfill her destiny. Why this colony was small, who knows? Well, I have uh, quite a few reasons why it's probably small. I blame mother nature on that one. So instead of shaking the colony out and punishing her, for something that 
I mean, it probably wasn't her fault. We had looked through and we identified it as not being a weak colony, but as being a small colony. A colony is just probably short on bees for many reasons. So by putting a big unit or putting that on top of a big unit, slowly merging through newspaper and confining the, confining the queens with an excluder, we're able to very effectively boost that top unit by pulling the strength out of that bottom unit up. So that's one of the tricks I'm using this year to help even out my apiary. There's a lot more bottom end colonies now because that cold had really drawn them down. And to boost those colonies is really difficult and takes a lot of time. You pull a frame of brood, you need enough bees, you drop it in. Is there enough bees to maintain that work you just give them? And blah, 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 work, work, work. I just have the bees do it themselves just by pulling the sheer mass of bees and the resource to reestablish that top with that queen. And I'll come around in two weeks or I don't know, whenever I have time, strip those top boxes off, take them to another yard. We'll do another queen assessment. She may be an old queen, she may be a young queen, I don't know, but if she's showing viability, it's rock and roll. Might as well do the other one too. Right? These are nicely up top here. Now I'll just pull one frame this time. So I got lots of work to do right now. I have another three yards to visit just to quickly assess and then I gotta hop on the tractor again. Do I see young brood? I'm not sure if that's... Well, that's old brood, but that's young brood. It's nicely, so this, uh, there might be some just freshly capped brood there. This is the old nest here. And then it's being rimmed with mature larvae, going all the way out to eggs as far as she can stretch it. So she's able to, whoa, this side is just absolutely beautiful. It's the old tough nest here, and it's actually starting to emerge. And you can see this is just freshly capped brood and mature larvae, younger larvae, eggs right to the corners. We have syrup in here. We have pollen just kind of spattered all over the place. That is a stimulant. Holy moly. Oh, I love seeing growth like this. It is about time. We have had such a hard nest since we brought them outside. Just as we can establish a nice looking nest, boom, we get a weather event and just floors them. Wow, look at that. So here's part of that hard nest. But right on the outside of that, because now she can stretch her legs a bit, we have some capped brood, freshly capped brood with mature larvae stretching all, all the way, just textbook. We have syrup in the corners there, some pollen. This is another successful merger. This will be, you know, give this a week, this will be a solid frame of brood. Take this off, put it in a new location, and we've just re, what's the word for it, re-energized. I don't even need gloves, I mean, there's so much, I'm wearing gloves because I'm tipping colonies back pretty quick and I don't have smoke. When I assess, I don't like smoking bees, I like to see exactly where they are. Yeah, this frame is right full of eggs. Lots of pollen. So the eggs down there, rimmed with pollen, rimmed with syrup, just perfectly set out. And then empty on this side. So the nest is right dead center. One more frame.
I think my treatment's working because I've had some washes done and my treatment's not quite done yet, but with the counts midway through the, the uh, Apivar treatment, I'm getting zero mite counts. Yeah, so this side, where was she? I must have missed her. Nothing on this side but the tough nest. And I just put her down on the grass. She's obviously here. There's a shit ton of eggs. Probably just can't see because of my shades. But that is just a detail. I don't need to find it. Okay, back to work now. That is, that put me in a good mood. I like seeing things work out like that.